Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and I'm gonna be making a envelope style pocket folder for a standard size traveler's notebook. This is my standard size traveler's notebook. It is a Mystic's Little Gifts traveler's notebook in raven leather, black stitching, black elastics. Uh, a lot of the things that I have in here I made a while ago and I kind of just pulled this off of the shelf not long ago and decided to start using it again. So I took out the old inserts and added some new, but I made this folder as a test run. Um, I'm gonna change a few things about it. I think the pockets are a little bit too deep. Okay, but yeah, so, but this is how it will look. And I even decorated the front, as you can see, I have a little tuck spot here where I can stick photos. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that. And the whole premise behind this was if you have somewhat of a simple plain paper and you wanna you know, decorate it and make it your own, you can do that with your folder, just like you would a dashboard. So to begin, I have two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. I figured I would use this yellow. It's nice and bright and pretty but it has a subtle pattern so it will be easy to add deco if i want to and i have a bit of it that has been damaged so i'm going to trim that side off first no. and i'm going to trim gonna... it to nine and a half and then i'm going to turn it around and trim at ten and a quarter and the ten and a quarter side is going to be your height, or this way. It's going to be your height. So if you have a pattern that needs to go in a specific direction, keep in mind that the ten and a quarter will end up being the height of your pocket folder. So I'm done with that for now. I need to get out my scoreboard. You can score without a scoreboard. If you have a paper trimmer, it's pr fairly easy to do. I've shown how to do it in several other videos. Um, maybe I'll make a video dedicated specifically for that so that it will be easy to find. Okay, so with the 10 and a quarter side at the top, let's get in frame here. Um, we're going to score at one inch. and nine and a quarter inches. So in essence, we're scoring an inch on either side at an inch. Same thing on both sheets, one inch, and then nine and a quarter inches. Okay, then we're gonna turn around with the nine and a half inch side at the top we're going to score at two and at six and a half. Same thing on the other sheet with the nine and a half uh, length side up at top. We're going to score at two and six and a half. Okay, so we're done with scoring. So when you look at your score marks, even though mine are pretty light, you should have nine boxes. They'll be varying sizes, but you should have nine boxes. So you're gonna fold your one inch flaps. Okay. Again, so this is the height of our folder. Again, fold one inch flaps. And I'll put the measurements and score information in the description box below. So we have the beginnings of our envelope. This part here, it's about three inches. The bigger part is going to make the pocket of our folder and then this two inch piece here is going to be what put what holds the two pieces together but if this was just a basic envelope this would be the top 
that you would seal for the envelope. So this would be the pocket of the envelope. This would be the top. We're going to keep the tabs or the one inch sides on the pocket part of the envelope. And we're going to remove the back of the envelope and the top flap of the envelope. Okay. So this one inch section and this one inch section goes. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to miter it which means I'm gonna cut a little bit at an angle. Instead of cutting right on that score line, I'm gonna cut at an angle. This helps reduce bulk when you're folding paper, especially cardstock, uh, a heavyweight cardstock. So now I'm going to go on the inside of the score line and cut this whole flap off. this one inch piece on the side. Okay. Again, I did that on the inside of the score line as best as I could. And you could use your paper trimmer to do that too. Okay, so same thing on the other side. I'm gonna miter it. And then I'm going to, I'm doing it from this end because I can see it better cut on the inside of the score mark just a little bit okay so now we have the makings of our envelope basically you will fold these two flaps that you have left in and then fold this down to make an envelope now I'm gonna miter this edge as well of the flap because just in case we don't want that hanging out and showing i'm just gonna take a little triangle off of that as well okay so that one's done let's move on to this one i'm going to do the same thing this is my pocket area this would be the top of the envelope that folds and seals so we need to keep the tabs or flaps on the side of the pocket but everything else on the side can go so i'm going to miter and then cut on the inside of the score line miter inside okay and then I'm gonna take off the little triangle to our miter the other edge of the flap so all of this we don't need so now we have basically two very simple basic envelopes okay so now i'm going to add my notch or my pull notch i guess you would call it so i'm going to take the ruler and find the center of this i think that's the best way to do it for me is to kind of measure it out a little bit so i have a center finding ruler it's fairly easy you just make sure that the number is or the lines are in the same place on either end and then that's sh your, your center will be where the zero is. So I'm just gonna mark the center because that's where I'm gonna punch my notch. Okay. So this is a one and a half inch circle punch by, I think it's from Hobby Lobby, the paper studio. I believe that's where it's from it doesn't have any markings on it so but it looks like their style so I'm going to use this to punch it does have uh, a marking on the edge here that you could use to kind of line things up I'm going to use these two little plastic pieces on the inside as a guide as well as this arrow on this cover guide to line up my punch so I'm going to line up the bottom edge to those two little plastic pieces 
and align my little tick mark with the center of that arrow as best as I can and then punch okay then we'll do the same thing with this one line it up and punch it's not going to be exactly perfect and i'm sure you could probably punch both at the same time so now i'm going to add the adhesive to the flaps and you can use whatever kind of adhesive you like to use just make sure that you cover your flap well because you don't want it to come apart and then fold that over and burnish it down well hopefully everything lines up <laughs> Um, let's see let's make sure this is lined up good okay so I'm gonna add my tape runner and then I'm gonna make sure everything is lined up the way it should be and burnish it down Okay, so now we have two envelopes and this is a little short but we're not using it as an envelope I didn't want to make this too long I think I made it too long in my um, prototype so if you wanted to use these as a real envelope you would probably add a half inch to the width of it we're not using it as an envelope we're using it to make a fold so basically what I'm going to do is insert this flap into this pocket and glue them together. I need to do a little mitering on this flap because in order to get this to slide in nicely without having to force it. So again, I'm just gonna cut off a little triangle off of the envelope flap, just a little bit and give it a little miter. Hopefully that's enough to do it. So if we were doing an envelope, it would look like that. So now I'm just gonna add some adhesive to the edge where the fold is. This is the piece that has the miter. And we're just adding it on that one edge. I'm gonna add a little bit here in the middle too. I'm gonna try and line this up. Just a little bit inside of the fold where this flap is. So we're gonna go in a little bit. And press that down. And then I'm just gonna tuck this into this pocket. Like that. Okay. So we have the inside of our folder. Come over to the back, which this is, I'm using it as the back. You could use it as the front, depending on how your pattern is. I'm using it as the back. You could cut this piece off if you wanted to, but I like to keep it on here and I'm gonna glue down the sides and use it as a little pocket tuck spot area. So I'm just gonna add a little three and one to the edges or the top and the bottom, the short side and fold that over carefully. Press that down, make sure that glue is in there good. And so now we have a pocket. So we have our front, burnish everything, make sure all the folds are good and lined up. Okay. So again, this paper is very plain and simple. So we want to decorate it. But before we do, I'm going to go ahead and put a notch on the center fold using my regular hole punch. And I'm just going to cut another little half circle. You're not cutting the whole circle. You're cutting half. So you kind of have to line that up carefully and just cut a little bit right in the center of that fold. This takes some of the pressure off of the paper when you're putting it in your strings. It takes the 
pressure off and it'll help the paper last a little longer. Okay, so we have a notch on either end of the fold. Plus you have your notches here. So it kind of all goes together, okay? Quick, easy way to make a folder. Use paper that's in your stash. Use paper that you don't really use that much. I made this a little wider than this one, as you can see, just a little bit. So that it will have a, a little extra room to go around if you want to put it around and insert. Now these inserts from Michaels, which this is where that one is from, they're a little larger, I think, but see, I made this a little bigger and it does go around the insert, okay? So again, I'll put those measurements in the description box below. So let's go ahead and decorate it up something similar to how we did this one, okay? And if you want to see how I did this, um, there is a time-lapse version on my Instagram. And ins my Instagram is at Scrapcraftastic. So let's do this one. So I have paper from the collection that I used. And the collection, I, didn't, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is the collection that I use. Hello Darling Stack from Die Cuts with a View. And I kind of put a good little dent into this so yeah let's see what we can come up with to decorate I like the gray right off um, there's not much on this sheet that I think would be good so let's work with that So I was just going to cut that out. And on this other one, I actually made this a pocket as well. So you can stick little things in the pocket. So you have a tuck spot here where you can just kind of tuck things in and then you have a pocket as well. So it's not just deco, it is functional. Um, let's see. I like that lovely day tag too. Then I also have this envelope, which I made out of just regular copy paper um, of digitals that I fussy cut. This is from, all of these are from Webster's Pages. They're freebies from Webster's Pages. And I just cut them all out one day. And let's see if I have anything in here that I want to use. Maybe that arrow. I like the goals. Don't want any of this. So, and then I had these out from my previous attempt. What else do we have here? I think I'm gonna use this lovely day tag. I keep looking at it. I was thinking that it could be in a pocket, maybe. I don't know. Or it could be a bottom pocket. I haven't done that. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find a doll that I wanna use. Okay. So then this will be at the bottom. This flower up at the top. And so this would slide in there like that. And I need something else to make it pop.
start then if I don't like this I can flip it around and use the other side like this and yeah I think that's pretty cute I'm gonna put that there I don't know why but I like the bow <laughs> so let's go ahead and add it Let's use Girl Boss. I know a lot of people don't like that phrase but I'm going to use it. And then I think I am going to turn this around the other way so that we won't have so much text on there and leave it like that. So this is our cover. Let's put this stuff away. Okay, so there we have it. It's not that decorated, but you know, it gives you an idea of some of the things you can do. You can also go in and add more decoration on the inside of your folder. And let's pop this in here and see what it looks like. So put it on this one. And voila, there we have it fits perfectly Got your stickers or notes in your pockets and that's that so I hope you enjoyed this little craft with me slash tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for live craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!